Hi. So in this session, we are going to do one question that is reversing a list. Okay. So with this, you will have a better clarity of various concepts of list. Okay. So let's see what you can do. We have to perform one question that is reversing a list. Okay. Reverse list. Okay. So what our question is? Let's say you have a list one, two, three, four, five, six. You will have to implement a function that is reverse list like this. After reversing of this list, you will have to print this list, and this list should become six five four three two one. That is a simple question. If you after reversing a list, you should your list should be reversed. Okay. So before implementing the function, what logic we can think is? I think if we have one two three four five six. Or let's say an odd length list one two three four five six seven anything like this. So one make sure is you can swap this with this. 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 Okay. You will have to go till this here because after that, if if you swap again, then that list will become same because if you swap this, this will become seven one. You will swap this, this will become six two. You will swap this, this will become five three. You will swap this, this. If you again swap that, then three will come before again. Okay, so you can you don't want that. You have to go till mid part of the list. Okay, similarly here you have to swap this with this. You have to swap this with this. You have to swap this with this till the mid part of the list. Okay, so if the length is six, then you have to go till three. Okay, if the length is seven, then also you can go till three only. Okay, this, 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 this index. Okay, so I think we can do that by implementing this function. Let's see what we can do. We have to implement this function. Reverse list. I have this list. I have to implement this function. If I make changes in the list, that will be reflected in original list that we already seen. When you pass a list through function, you will change. If you make change in this list, that will be reflected in original list as well. Okay, that we know. Now what our uh, what our logic is? We'll go till. Mid part of the list. So we want a length. So let's say our length is length of list, something like this. Okay. Now I need to run a for loop, which will start from zeroth index. I will go till length divided by two index for i in range because I have to swap two indexing. So I I need to go a uh, for loop through indexing as well. In range length divided by two. Length divided by two will give you the float part. You don't want the float part. You actually want the integer part only. That's why we'll do this. Now you have to swap the index. Okay. So if my list is like one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is my ith index, then what is this index? If my current index, I have to swap ith index with what index? So if, if this is zero, I have to swap with length minus one. That if I my index is one, I have to swap with Length minus twoth index. So I think my if my index is ith, I have to swap with length minus one minus ith index. If i is zero, then length minus one. If i is one, then length minus two. If i is two, then length minus three. So that is clear. So we will swap with that, and we can swap in one line. We know that in Python we can swap two variables like a comma b is equal to b comma a. We can use that. So in one line. So I have to swap li at ith. And I'll get length minus ith minus one. These I have to swap. I'll get ith with I'll get length minus ith minus one, comma I'll get ith. If this is done, after that, since these two indexes are swapped, variables of uh, elements present at these indexes are swapped, we are able to see that change. Let's try to print this list, and our list is reversed. Okay, so that is a very important concept which you can use and We can apply that. Okay. One more thing which we can do here is, we know we have a negative indexing concept as well. So if you want the last element, you can get through. If your list is this, l i at minus one. You want the second last element, l i at minus two. You can do that. So you can swap these. You can implement a reverse list. You don't need to go length minus i at minus one. I think if you want to swap zeroth element with zeroth element with Which li at minus one. This is the last element. 
एल आई एट माइनस टू विद एल आई एट वन सो इफ माई आई एथ इंडेक्स विल बी स्टार्ट विद वॉट दिस इज दिस एल आई एट माइनस आई माइनस वन इन केस ऑफ जीरो इट इज एल आई एट माइनस वन इन केस ऑफ वन इट इज एल आई एट माइनस टू सो आई थिंक आई एथ इंडेक्स विल बी स्टार्ट विद एल आई एट आई एथ इंडेक्स विल बी स्टार्ट विद माइनस आई एथ माइनस वन सो एल आई एट आई एथ विल बी स्टार्ट विद एल आई एट माइनस आई एथ माइनस वन ओके दैट इज अ सिंपल मैथ्स वी कैन यूज दैट एज वेल वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द सेम लॉजिक हेयर ऑनली ओके लेट से दिस इज रिवर्स लेस टू फंक्शन आई एम इंप्लीमेंटिंग दैट रिवर्स लेस टू आई एम पासिंग दिस लिस्ट एल आई एट आई एथ दिस आई एम नॉट यूजिंग लेंथ माइनस आई एथ माइनस वन आई कैन सिंपली यूज माइनस आई एथ माइनस वन बिकॉज देर इज अ नेगेटिव इंडेक्सिंग कॉन्सेप्ट विच यू कैन यूज दिस विल बी स्वैप विद दिस आई थिंक दीज विल बी द सेम थिंग एंड वी गॉट द रिवर्स लिस्ट ओके डोंट नीड टू यूज लेंथ हेयर वी हैव यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेगेटिव इंडेक्सिंग ओके स्वैपिंग इन वन लाइन इज अ ग्रेट कॉन्सेप्ट One simple thing which you can do is we already know about sequencing or slicing in list. So sequencing or slicing means you can take a part of the list. If you do like one colon three colon one, this is start, this is end, and this is step. This you already know. One till this will go from first index, second index, but it will not include third index. Okay. One important thing you should understand is if this is minus one, step is minus one, then your start by default becomes end of the list. Uh, end index of the list. So if you'll do like one, two, three, four, five, six. If your step is minus one in negative terms, then it will start from start will come from here. End will go by default will go here. But if you will specify something, then it will take that value. Let's see few operations. Why I'm using that? Because we can reverse a list in one line. Okay. Let's see what happens. Our li is. This okay. Our li is this. If I go for negative indexing, let's see. I'm starting from three. I'm going till one. I'm going from minus one. So this is starting from third index. This index. This is going till one. So it will not include one, three, two, but it will not include one because the negative step is there. If you'll go, if you will not specify start by default, it will be end index of the list. You will specify one colon minus one, so it will give you one, two, three, four. It will not include first index. Okay, so this is the concept which you can use. If you will do three colon colon minus one, then end index will be starting one of the list that is one greater than that, one lesser than that, zero uh, index. So that is three, four, five, six, which you can use that starting from this index. By default, it will take just lesser than the zero index. Now. The important concept is if you do this, not specify start, not specify end, and do minus one, then it will give you one, two, three, four, five, six. Starting from this till this, this actually returns a new list. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is actually returning a new list. Okay, this you already know. This is actually returning a new list. You are considering a part of the list that is actually a list as well. Okay, so you are considering different parts of the list that is actually a list. So what you simply can do is, if my li is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say this. If I am doing this, li colon colon minus one. This is actually returning a new list, and you know, one, two, three, four, five, six is creating somewhere. Li stores that reference that is three hundred something. Li starts pointing to this reference. Now, when you do this, li colon colon minus one, it creates a new list. That means somewhere six five four three two one is created. It has not been stored anywhere. If you will store, then that that will be great. If you are not storing somewhere, but you can, what you can do is it has created somewhere. It will have a reference. It was not stored anything. Let's point to this. Li will start pointing to this. That means what I am saying is let's do li is equal to li colon colon minus one. Now my li has become six five four three two one. It was initially one two three four five six. Since it was returning a new list, I am using that concept, and I am just changing li is equal to li colon colon minus one. So the important part is you can reverse a list in only one line because this also returns a new list. You have just used that, and li starts pointing to that list. Okay, so that concept you can use. You can reverse a list in one line, or you can implement these functions. It is your understanding. It is the power of Python. You can do many things in one line. Okay, great. Thank you.